Perfect. Good morning. How's everybody today? Pretty good show for you? Excellent. Hi, John. He's a co-chair with me uh, with IPMX. So today what I want to do is talk about the IPMX activity group and the implementation testing events that we have had associated with IPMX. These are the organizations that are associated with IPMX and also the Joint Task Force for Network Media, which is kind of a overall that includes all those organizations. So this is the IPMX activity group. John LaPierre, which is right here in the back, and I uh, share this chairmanship together. IPMX is a internet protocol media experience. It is a series of technical recommendations called TR10. So there's a 14 of them at this point in it. And this enables the carriage of compressed or uncompressed video, audio, and data uh, over a network. And this would be basically for the pro AV kind of a market. These are the companies that are participating in this event these activities for it. And this is the status of each of the projects at this point in time. So these are the documents I talked about that there's 14 of them. Uh, we're currently focusing on this USB one right now. And so pretty much when we have that and this uh, dash nine, which is the minimum requirements to be IPMX, we will have most of the documents finished. And then we're gonna be able to have a testing event to verify that all these uh, fully work with each other and interoperate. Um, so initially these documents were released as a draft on the VSF website. And then once we tested them in an implementation event and verified that at least two companies could interwork based on the, the implementation of the standard as it's written, then uh, we are um, releasing that as published. So we had a dirty hands workshop uh, last year at about this same time uh, at the NFL, and then we had a testing event just before ISE in Germany at the uh, Matrox facility. And the ones that are shown here in green were tested at this implementation testing event. And then as a result of that, we published uh, these documents. So everything that was tested came out as published. So if you go to the VSF website, what you'll see is all these documents. It talks about which ones are final here, which ones are still in a draft format. If you need information or have questions, you're welcome to contact me and I'll be happy to help if you wanna join this group. Uh, we welcome people to come in that are VSF members for that. So we had this dirty hands event, as I mentioned uh, uh, earlier, uh, at the NFL in LA. This was in March of last year. These are the companies that participated in that event. You can see uh, the group of people here and uh, all the equipment and how we ran this test. Uh, it is truly a dirty hands. Everybody's trying to you know, get everything working, make sure that there are no issues, they understand everything. It was a very successful event that we had there. And then we had a implementation testing event in January, as I talked about at Matrox. And this was to validate the core documents for IPMX so that they could be published as a result of it. So the validation criteria was that two vendors had to interoperate with no critical or substantial changes. We did find a few things that we ended up updating and, and, and making modifications, but they were not any uh, real serious or critical kind of issues. So this was at Matrox in Munich, January 20th to the 24th. And here were the participating companies in that event. And here you can see it. And it truly is very dirty hands, lots of, uh, lots of wiring there, not very neat, but uh, it was a very successful event. We also had some good times at dinner there. So um, the results of this uh, last event that we had, we looked at dash zero, dash one, two, three, five, eight, and 11. And um, I believe Jed went over what each of these documents are, so I won't tell you, you know, what the 
I, I can you know describe them, but they are uh, the, probably the same ones that he talked with you about, which would be like timing, video, audio, HCAP, and MOS, and a constant bit rate compressed uh, video, which would be a JPEG XS. And all of them ended up being passed. There were some slight modifications to some text a few places, but for the most part, everything passed. Um, then we had a demonstration of this at the VidTrans conference in February. And uh, these are the same participants that were in this event uh, that we had in, in Munich. And we showed everything interoperating with us, with both senders and receivers that were software and hardware. Um, so it was a multi-company demonstration. We demonstrated dash one, two, three, eight, and 11. And these numbers roughly correspond to the 2110 documents. So like 2110-10 dash describes the timing for 2110. Uh, dash two, which is video here, is the dash 20 equivalent kind of a document. So the numbering is similar uh, so that you can kind of relate to it. And we did use JPEG XS, which this would be dash 22 if this were for 2110. And these were the participating companies in this. And this is what the setup looked like there. And that's everything. So, uh, John, I don't know whether you wanted to add anything to what I've said. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, any questions about anything that you have? <laughs>